Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara's at work and she's probably going to kill me for opening this. But I got a little excited. So I'm first just now checking out this new Micarta Kaiser Sheepdog. We do have a mini Sheepdog right here in green G10. And then we um, acid etched and uh, did this little design on the blade but now we got the big dog so we got the mini sheep dog and the big dog i've always wanted a big dog because these things look awesome for one to modify and then when i seen this awesome micarta i really wanted to get the one that lavender pants 86 got he got the one with the coated blade but he got the last one so i wasn't able to get it yep I went to buy it, and they told me, yep, Lavender Pants got the last one. Let's see if I can middle finger flick. Ooh, I can middle finger flick it, because I can do that with this one, too. Bang. Let's do it again. I'm just getting tension right there, like that. Oh, it's not working as good as it was before. Oh, no, I can't do it. I'm failing. There we go. It'll break in. Let's check out the lock. Oh, yeah, good lockup. Nice early lockup. Looks like it's got pretty good geometry. Nice and locked up solid. Let's look at it again this way. Very, very nice. Let's look at the stop pin. Oh, yeah. Liners look solid. I like this micarta, too. This micarta just it feels really good. It looks like a micarta that's going to age very well. You already see it picking up the oils in my skin. So that's going to look really good. Man, I wish I would have got that the one with the um the coated blade. I don't know why. Maybe it could have been just the picture that they were showing um from Blade HQ, but it looked so cool. I don't care what color the micarta was. All of them looked good with that with that uh coated blade. But man, everybody knows these things just have amazing action. Super drop shutty. Flipper tab's nice and big, but it makes it to where, man, that thing flies out. You can light switch it or push button it. Man, I've seen some people uh, drill a hole right here. Oh, yeah, this one's also BD1N steel. But I've seen people drill a hole right here, and then they make it to where it's a, uh, like a spidey flick. And it looks really cool. Um, but yeah, man, this thing's pretty awesome. I'm liking it. Let's look at the centering. Oh, the centering's perfect. This is my card. looks really good. This is the kind of my card I like to see. I don't like seeing the my card that, um, that's cheaply done. Um, I like seeing the stuff like, you know what? I did not like the micarta on this knife right here, which is also a Kaiser. Um, this one right here, uh, I can't remember the Lieb. Yeah, sorry. I almost forgot the name. This micarta is horrible. I did do not like this micarta. It's just, it seems like it's too polished. It doesn't have that rough texture. I might sand this one down to make it more like this one. But I could tell by looking at the um, the micarta pictures that look, you could see the fibers in this one. All the lines versus this one where you don't really see it. It's almost just like it's got um, either it's too polished or it's got too much of the adhesive in there or whatever it is, the epoxy or whatever. And this one's a lot rougher where you get a lot more of that texture. Like, listen to that. Big difference. But I like it. And I know I can tell. Because this one, oh, I forgot to say, this is the green micarta. So over time, it's going to start breaking in and get this color. Like, just over time, like, you already see it starting to turn right there. So, it's going to be very, very cool in the future. Man, that thing is very, very drop shutty. But you know what? I knew it was going to be because even the little baby one is, look how, 
This thing is so good. I knew the detent was going to be nice and crisp, but I had never tried a big one. And then there's even the extra, extra large one, which um, you might have seen on Metal Complex's channel, which is just massive. Let's do a couple size comparisons really quick just so I can show you. Um, <laughs> here's the Yo Jumbo. You can see it's a lot smaller. The Yo Jumbo is a massive knife, though. Let's take a look at some regular big knives. Um, let's see here. Well, you know what? Here, let's take a look at a smaller knife. Here's the Benchmade Bug Out. Almost everybody know. Well, I'm not gonna say that. A lot of people know the Benchmade Bug Out. A lot of people know the Benchmade 940. It's about as long as a 940, actually. Yeah. Perfect length. The 940 and the Sheepdog are about the same length. Obviously, the Sheepdog is a bit bigger, like in girth-wise, like tall. But what's really cool about this is the geometry. Look at the blade geometry. It's really nice. It gets down to a nice thin edge. And the taper, it tapers so slow. And the blade stock thickness really is not that thick. Let's look at it versus the 940. Look at that. I mean, what is that, the same? The 940, yeah, it's about the same. But then look at the drop on that and look at that. Look at the depth difference. So you have a lot of room to drop down to a very nice thin edge. Um, you can get a full grip even with large hands. Even with extra large hands. Um, but... You also have this little place right there if you really want to. Now, if I do wind up modifying it, I'll cut the flipper tab off and I'll just make it a middle finger flicker and a thumb flicker, which I think might be pretty cool. I'm going to get it. Once it breaks in, I'll be able to really middle finger flick it because the detent's not too strong. It's perfect. Listen to that detent. Nice and clicky. That's how it gets that leverage to bang that thing out the lock bar pretty easy to get to now that was my biggest complaint with the small one my biggest complaint was this doggone liner they didn't give you any room you have to smash your finger and i did get used to it so it's not that big of a deal but like ooh, like the lieb man the detent is so good on these leaves this is a really good knife i don't like the micarta Oh man, this is one of the best detents I've felt in a long time. The flipper tab and detent is just so good. But you see that lock bar? Super easy to get to. So that was my one of my worries about this thing was whether or not the lock bar was going to be easy to get to. But it's not bad. I mean, I'm not going to say it's the easiest, but it's not bad at all. Like it's actually a lot, lot better than the mini. Let's put some KPL on it real quick and see if it helps it. KPL. Now I'm doing this because I can feel it's a dry. So I'm not doing this just uh, for no reason. I'm doing it because it kind of feels a little dry in there. I can, you can actually almost hear it. Which I think this will make it go away. KPL is the best. The best. Oh yeah, it's all ready. I can feel it. I can still hear it, but I can feel it. Let that really work in. I might need a little bit by the, more by the bearings because I bear. What I did was I went right in here and I just put a little drop right there. Put a little drop right there. Be careful not to get it on your lock face. You can dry it off. And then I came around here and I went right to this little detent ball. And I put just a little droppity drop right there. Just a little drippity drop. Then work it in. Let it get into that detent track. Get it real good. Then go back to your lock face and dry it off again. You might have to dry off your lock face a couple times. If you, especially if you put too much. Oh, yeah. Do you, do you, did you guys see that? Let me lift you up just a little bit. All right. I can still kind of hear it a little bit. But I could tell they'll break in. Most likely that sound is just the detent ball breaking in. Because these, yeah, they don't have a reverse detent track. So, see how it slams shut? Because there's no reverse detent track. 
Only uh, Riet and Two Sons do that. No, nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> Two Sons do put uh, reverse detent tracks in. That's one thing that's so awesome about them. But luckily, the detent is it's right there. It's nice and early. So if if you let the 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 uh, flipper tab go down and hit your finger, you're already past the detent ball. Sorry, it's blurry. So it's pretty easy to let it go past that. Nice, heavy, strong detent. Yeah, you already see, that's the oil from the KPL. Yeah, this thing is gonna break in real nice and it's gonna turn a beautiful color green. Can't wait till it starts changing and it's gonna change quick because I can tell this is the type of micarta that I love, that absorbs. You know what, this is what it'll turn into. I can, sh well, kind of. But like this is green micarta. Look at that. It'll kind of do that. This one's a little different though. Like this isn't the same type of micarta, but it's a green micarta though. So, and this is the Buck Mesa. USA made, awesome fixed blade. Best ergos on a five inch um, fixed blade. This only, like I got that for like 20 bucks. Um, but I also got it on a sale because the package was half open. Normally they're like 40 bucks, 50 bucks on um, Amazon. But you get them for a heck of a deal. Yeah, this thing's pretty awesome. The, the clips, I already know how this clip works and it was super tight, super tight. Let's test this one out right now. Oh, it's not as bad as the other one. I mean, it's tight, don't get me wrong, it's tight. Yeah, it's pretty tight. But it's not crazy. Like this one, I mean, it's. Uh, this one's way better for tension wise, which I like that strong tension. Don't get me wrong. Like you could, you could put this in your pocket and then go rock climbing. You'll never lose this knife. I mean, it hangs on for dear life. You could hang it on the bottom of your pant leg and you ain't going to lose it. This one, it seems pretty tight, so it doesn't seem like you'll ever lose it, but it's a good tension. Nice standoffs. The clip, I don't like how shiny it is. I do want it to be stonewashed. I might wind up, uh, like we acid etched this, but since it was so stainless, look at it. It looked better at first, but we want that, uh, that nice stonewashed look. I might have to do something with this clip. I don't know. Or I think they actually sell some aftermarket clips I can get. That's probably what I'll do. Because I want to soup this thing up a little bit. Put a hole in it, put a nice titanium clip on it. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys. I love you guys. Go bitch at uh, Lavender Pants for taking my uh, my uh, black coated, PVD coated uh, um, sheepdog. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs>